Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking equities and equity prices. Not a whole lot of fanfare in equities today, something we haven't seen in a while. Uh, month to date, we're still about 6% off those lows. It's made a huge move. We've seen equities really kind of outperform on those big days. Yeah, we've seen a couple of pullback days, but they've, they've definitely seen the trend moving higher. We're now starting to separate ourselves from, from I think that bearish news that we saw, those tensions, those geopolitical risks, that what if scenario, whatever you want to call it. And I think that the equity market is now looking to ascend back to those levels. We were trading at, eh, call it end of 2017 maybe, before we started to see things come apart a little bit. So uh, technically we're starting to see things move away. The big move we've seen in April obviously has had a lot of fundamental help, but I think ultimately uh, the market right now is favorably towards more higher prices, more bullish trend uh, until it doesn't. And volatility is probably telling you the same thing Call volatility, we had a spike up to like 50 in the VIX index. Then we talked about VIX trading between you know 20 and 30, and then between 15 and 20. And yeah, now we're getting close to that 10 level again. We're not quite there. Uh, we got to 10, we got to 15, and we're we're starting to look to break back into that 10 to 15 range. And I think that could be something that will be a key signal that you know any risks that we we're looking at, whether it be trade wars, whether it be war conflicts, whether it be U.S. data, whether it be the Fed, anything. It's kind of gone by the wayside because I think right now as the VIX gets down below 15, possibly even closer to 10. Remember in 2017, we talked about how many times it got below 10 or at least 210. And I think that is something that the market is really shrugging off any of these risks, which we had previously thought were probably pretty large. And we saw equities to move down uh, likewise. So as we head into uh, the end of this week, the VIX is heading lower. The E-minis are heading higher. Big surprise. But what do we have that could possibly stop that or help it? And we have more continued earnings. You know, the big names that we have the rest of this week, uh, we'll be looking at GE. We'll be looking at Procter & Gamble, among others. Honeywell, there's a number of big, uh, big uh, large corporates coming out over the next day or so that could uh, give the market a nudge in either direction. However, that being said, Today, while Treasury, while equities were spinning their tires, Treasuries were seeing yields rise higher. That is something we haven't seen uh, in tandem in quite a while. So we're looking at a mixed dollar. We're looking at higher gold, higher oil, higher Treasury yields, and kind of slow stocks, which is odd because stocks have really been leading the charge amongst all those categories really over the last six to eight months. So right now, interesting to see equities not being non-reactive. It is earnings season. And likewise, we have a lot of Fed speakers. We have still a lot of earnings to come. And I think that the momentum that, that stocks have seen since the lows were put in in early April is going to continue here. It's going to take more than one or two bad uh, bad numbers or bad earnings reports to really turn this around. Likewise, I think that as far as Fed policy goes, you know, we're not going to really be focusing on that too much. We have a meeting coming up in May, but the big meetings in June so right now, equities I think are focused all on equities and they're focused all on data and they're expecting GDP to come in at north of 2% for the first quarter. And if that happens, I think that that'll continue this bullish momentum. So right now, as we head into the last part of the week, we do have some key earnings coming out, but let's keep an eye on those upper level bands that we've been talking about in E-minis heading bullish into the weekend. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.